let's learn about the electrocardiogram or ECG. The ECG is a measurement of the electrical signals of the heart. Each part of the ECG represents part of the cardiac cycle. The first bump is called the P wave. The P wave represents atrial depolarization. Depolarization occurs during contraction or systole. The largest part of the ECG is the QRS complex, which represents ventricular depolarization or systole. Atrial diastole also occurs at this time. The T wave represents ventricular repolarization. The ventricles are going into diastole. The ECG can be used to detect heart problems or abnormal rhythms called arrhythmias or dysrhythmias. Tachycardia is an abnormally fast heart rhythm, usually greater than 100 beats per minute. Likewise, bradycardia is an abnormally slow heart rate, usually less than 60 beats per minute. Atrial flutter is a rapid contraction of the atria. Flutter waves are present at a rate of between 240 and 440 beats per minute. Atrial flutter is not stable and can degenerate into atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation consists of disorganized rapid contractions of the atria. There are no P waves present in atrial fibrillation. In a bundled branch block, the electrical impulse is delayed or blocked between the atria and ventricles. There are different types of blocks, but in this one, a third degree block, the P wave is not associated with the QRS complex. Ventricular tachycardia is a rapid contraction of the ventricles. It is very dangerous and unstable. In ventricular fibrillation, there is no organized contraction of the ventricles, and consequently, no movement of blood through the heart. We can also measure the spaces between the waves. These are called intervals or segments. The PR interval is measured from the beginning of the P wave to the start of the QRS complex and represents the time for atrial depolarization. An abnormally long PR interval indicates a heart block. The QT interval represents ventricular depolarization and repolarization. The ST segment represents the period when the ventricles are depolarized. The ST segment can be elevated in myocardial infarction or heart attack. We hope you have learned something about ECGs and see you next time.